Hey, welcome back to BizQuid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Google Keep to organize your short-term and long-term notes. So here we go, I'm gonna jump over to the computer. Um, I've done a session where we spoke about organization as an approach to learning. Um, and this session is just me talking about short and long-term notes. Now, I've also done a session on um, calendar blocking, okay, where you can uh, sort of use Google Calendar to time block and then use Google Tasks to record your homework uh, activities, any assignments or stuff that's coming up, deadlines that are coming up, track that using Google Tasks. And now the third sort of trifecta here, the third part of the triangle is to use Google Keep. Now, I'm gonna show you some shortcuts, some tips and tricks on using Google Keep to track some of your thoughts and ideas, your processes, your, you know, your brainstorming sort of sessions, uh, where to keep that, because some of you, um, you know, might might be useful to keep like a, um, a stack of sticky notes and a pencil, pen, pen and paper, and you write them down. But it's an easy way to lose your notes. So how to digitize it and really work well with this trifecta, I'm gonna show you Google Keep today. So check this out. The first tip that I can show you with Google Keep is actually not going to Google Keep, but just typing in your Chrome browser, type in notes, dot new and press return and that will immediately open up a new note as long as you're signed into your profile so here we are we're here now we can create a new note i'm just going to type in a new note okay uh remember to check whatever it is and then that's that note's done I'll go ahead and save it so really quickly first tip is to use notes dot new press enter and it signs up now a good thing to do is what you can actually do when you type that in again, let's just type it in again. So notes.new, we go enter, and now bookmark this. So go ahead, go ahead and favorite it, and then call it what you like. You can just write new note, and then put it in your bookmarks. Okay, now I've already got that uh, little note here, look, over here. But if you're finding it, where is it gone? You click on these dots, go down to new note, there it is, go ahead and throw that up there. Okay, so you have a new note. Now here's another thing that you can do as well, yeah? This is brilliant, and this is to keep it as, run it as an app, okay, on your computer. Uh, check this out. So as I type this in, or I've got my new note, here we go, there's my new note. Click on the three dots, go to more tools, and then go to create shortcut, okay? Let's go to create shortcut, and then make sure you've got this option enabled. It says open as window, so go ahead and do that as open as window. I'm gonna rename this as just capital note. I put all my notes, and I'm gonna go ahead and create that. What that does is it creates it as an app, okay? And it opens it up as a window. So here we go, look, I've got that window open up now, and I can create my new uh, note here. This is, it runs in a window like it's, a, like it's an app on your desktop. And what you can do from here, and you've opened it up, then what you can do is you can go down to that note, go to options, and keep in dock. So basically this is one click, click away. Whether you, are op when, whether you are opening up your Chrome browser or you're not, you've got your notes right there. You can just click on it and start creating your notes from here. Okay, so now that I've shown you shortcuts how to access notes, there are some standard ways of accessing notes. Open up a new tab, and as long as you signed into your profile, you click on the app grid here, and then you'll find, traditionally, you'll find keep there, okay? That's how you'd get to keep. The next tip is going to show you how you can integrate it into a working document. So if you've got one of the Google Workspace applications open, so for example, let's say I've got this uh, presentation here open, yeah? And as I'm working on this presentation, I've got a thought and I'm like, oh, you know what? Maybe I should add this as slide five or six or seven. Um, let me grab from my sticky note and I can write it down. Instead of grabbing from my sticky note, what I can do is I can create a digital note that links to this document okay and i'll show you how you do that on the right hand side you see the companion bar if you don't see it it's probably because you've got this arrow clicked in okay so you click on that arrow and you open up your companion bar from your companion bar you'll have uh, an icon here for keep so if i click on keep and i create a new note so slide seven add a game of some kind and i'm going to go ahead and press done now if i go back to my keeps Okay, if I go to my Google Keeps, um, 
and I look at it, it says, here, look, it's updated straight away. It's a slide seven, add a game, maybe to Kahoot, maybe a Kahoot. So now I'm thinking, oh yeah, I did, I do, what document was that linked to? What was I doing when I made that note? And you can see here, you've got the document, in this case, a Google slide, uh, linked to this note. So if I click on that uh, linked item, it will go straight to that presentation that I was having that thought, that brainstorming idea that I had linked to this document. So that's another brilliant way to integrate um, your keeps, your, your notes, your ideas, your brainstorming sessions, your short long-term notes into your documents. Now you can do that with any Google WordPress application, whether it's docs, slides, sheets, even your Gmails. And that's really, really brilliant. I was in my email and actually look at this. As I come to this email and my notes is open up, you can see it says here related. It's related because I said, uh, please thank Janan for the slides. Yeah, I, I made a quick note while I was in the email. So it relates any notes that I've done while I'm doing this activity, it organizes those notes in on the side as a related note, okay? And in fact, if I go to this note over here, you can see, um, it's li it links the email. So when I go to my notes, I'm just checking for the day. Hey, what's going on? Uh, oh, it says, thank Janan for the slides. What slides? If I click on that email, it will open up uh, the exact email um, and I can go ahead and filter through and find exactly what it is that I'm looking for. All right, tip number three is to add labels to your notes so you can filter through. So let's go back to Google Keep here. You can see on the side I've got, on the left-hand side, I've got a labels here. A really quick way of adding labels, let's say we take a new note here, and this is gonna be uh, an art project. Okay, this is for art, there's an art project going on. What I can do, I can just type hashtag art, and that would create a label if it's not already created it will create a label and it will class it, it will categorize this into that particular label so if i now close this out if i go to my labels here and i click on art i can see that note is now added to my art label so it says draw a first draft of a trash can design so on and so forth so as you start labeling all of your uh, notes you can start organizing them categorizing them into certain um, you know sections so here i've got my shopping I've got stuff going on. Now, another really good uh, tip, tip number four, would be to color code your notes. It's entirely up to you how you do this. Set up a system. So for, for me, for example, if it's green, I'm, a, I'm waiting on someone to do something, okay? Uh, if it's red, it's essential, it needs to get done straight away. If it's yellow, it's, uh, it's a note that I need to take action on. And if it's blue, it's just information that I've got going on, all right? So create a system for yourself where you can color code some of your notes so you know immediately, um, you know, which ones need to take, which ones you need to take actions for, which ones you don't need to take actions for. Here's another really brilliant tip. Tip number five is archive your notes once you're done with them. When you archive your notes, it doesn't actually delete the notes. It just puts them in the archive folder. But what's brilliant is it doesn't clutter up your, uh, display your notes display look at mine it's cluttered up i need to archive my notes how do you archive if you click down here you've got the archive button just go click on archive you can actually highlight a bunch of them and you can go ahead and archive from here i remember they're not deleted they're just under my archives okay i can go find them under my archives and the thing is because i've given them labels i can still go ahead and find those archive notes even if they're not on my um, note page okay so for example if I go up to ABA I can find the ones that I've labeled with that tag right tip number six uh, is you can add collaborators to your notes so here we go I've got a shopping list here I'm gonna go to shopping I've got a couple of shopping lists here so I can go ahead and add here a collaborator go ahead and add a collaborator I'm gonna go ahead and add bit squared here boom I've added the collaborator I can go ahead and share it so now Baird can go ahead and add uh, to the list or he can go ahead and get some of these items and check them off. So let's say Baird's gone to the, you know, the grocers and he's got uh, all the fresh stuff. He can start ticking off veg, fruit, fish. If I go and I go to the frozen section, I can go ahead and check all of this off and it gets done. Now, if this is like a shopping list or it's a note that you frequently come back to, what you can do at the bottom is you can uncheck all items and then have a fresh note again and start off 
that shopping list as a fresh, fresh no. If you haven't seen the other tutorials, other videos, uh, I'll link them in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.